A shoulder arm syndrome is really the last thing you need, or if you already have one, you want to get rid of it. We'll show you the most important exercise, and at the end, we'll show you something special. So, let's start with the exercise. Walk to a wall and face it just like Paulina here. And another thing. We're talking about your left shoulder. If, in your case, it's the right one, just switch sides. Now, stretch your arm out and place it horizontally against the wall. It is important here that your shoulder touches the wall. In case you can't do that because everything up here is too short and matted up, move off the wall a bit. And so this exercise becomes about moving your shoulder towards the wall. And as soon as you've reached the wall, you just join the regular exercise. Now, you move your right shoulder away from the wall and rotate it so that you develop a stretch up here in your shoulder. And rotate as far as you can. Your feet are shoulder width apart, but keep in contact with the wall. And continue with this until you really feel a good stretching pain. You know, more than 8 and lower than 10 on your personal pain scale. 10 is the measure of intensity you should avoid so muscle guarding won't kick in. But still, the stretching pain has to be pronounced. You turn into the stretch and wait for a minute, wait for the situation to develop. Don't be surprised how much Paulina can rotate here. You might be much closer to the wall. But remember, everybody tries to find the angle that gives them the strongest stretch. Now, slowly focus. You stay on the wall and then push your hand and your elbow into the wall as hard as you can. As hard as you can. Even harder, harder, harder. Then relax and stay in this position. But you want to remove your hand and lower arm from the wall. You want to remove the hand from the wall. Paulina can actually do that using her elbow. But don't be surprised. This usually doesn't work because you are so deep in the stretch and that normally makes it impossible to move your hand off the wall. Then relax again. And increase the stretch. Increase it more and more. You at home probably can't rotate out as much as she can. Now, leave this position and then slide your arm up to an angle 10 to 15 degrees above the horizontal line. Again, touch the wall. Position yourself and then build up a stretch by rotating outwards again, away from the shoulder you want to stretch. Take your time, breathe in and breathe out. When you breathe out, lean more into the stretch. And now you again push your hand and arm as hard as you can into the wall as hard as you can as hard as you possibly can increase the push come on paulina give it more and then relax stay in position and again try to lift your hand off the wall paulina is trying very hard but it is impossible and also normal it should also be the same with you. Try as hard as you can to lift your hand and relax again and go even deeper into the stretch. And stretch more. Watch your breathing in and out. More of a stretch and back again. Now, slide up to 45 degrees. Your shoulder touches the wall. And you rotate again into the stretch. Rotate into the stretch. Bring your arm up a bit here. 
the stretch is stronger. Now that's normal that the stretch is more and more pronounced. And again, push into the wall with all your might. Hard with all the force you can muster. More, more, more. Relax and try to move the arm away from the wall. Stand straight with your head up. Try to lift the hand off the wall, which is impossible. Relax and turn even more into the stretch. Watch your breathing. In and out. In means stay. Out means increase the stretch. Slowly leave the position and slide up even higher, all the way up here. If, at a high angle, you can't keep contact with a wall anymore, well, so be it. Try to push into the wall anyway, without the rotation, and increase your push every day. Now, Paulina, turn, but stay on the wall with your shoulder joint. Stay on it and stretch. Stay on it and stretch. And you can see, even Paulina can barely rotate outwards. And I guess it's the same with you at home, maybe even more so. And now, push as hard as you can into the wall. Push harder. Harder still. And more. More. And more. Stay on the wall. Take the pressure off. And try and lift your arm off the wall. Try and move it off. It's impossible, but try it anyways with all your might. Give the neural system some good exercise. Relax, and again, rotate into the stretch even a bit more, increase more, and slowly leave the position and slide your arm down. Relax. And this finishes our exercise. Now, let's move on to an exercise that originated from osteopressure, this pressure technique therapy for patients. And to do this, we take our osteopressure set and pick the base piece up and the tip and use it to find a spot. I'm going to explain how. Please hold on to this. Feel along your clavicle or collarbone with your right hand, Paulina. And moving outward, you'll notice a small bone right here immediately underneath and then you could feel oh this is really tender and this is exactly the spot where you place the tip very carefully and you gradually increase the pressure so that you feel a pressure pain below 10 but more than 8 on your personal pain scale and then you simply breathe and we breathe and we wait because right now the muscles here are relaxing. Muscles that are directly associated with your shoulder arm syndrome or the onset of one are relaxing now. And that is nice right after the exercises to relieve these muscles from all the stress. And when the pain goes down under eight, six, or seven even, then you press a little harder again, change the angle a bit, Try to bring back more sensitivity. And then you'll realize how the pain subsides again and again. And as much as the pain subsides here, the excess tension programs in your brain are dialed down. This is the background of all of this. After two or three minutes, you take the pain releaser off, shake loose a bit, this makes everything noticeably more relaxed than before and wraps up our light osteopressure therapy. This was an example of our light osteopressure therapy, which is a patient therapy developed from the osteopressure technique, which the doctors and therapists trained by us use on their patients. You can find their names in a list on our website. Now you know what you can do about your shoulder arm syndrome. You can learn about the causes responsible for the syndrome by clicking up here or clicking under the video. We explain everything there. And please leave us your comment if you have shoulder problems, 
If you were told to undergo an operation, shoulder arm syndrome can get that bad. So please let us know your experiences and share the video with others. Bye.